This cooking and nutrition portion brought to you by Save On Foods. I'm in the kitchen with chef and holistic nutritionist Andrea Potter from Rooted Nutrition and she's going to teach us how to make wheat and barley risotto. Andrea, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, barley risotto with beets. Barley risotto with beets. Risotto mm. means rice in Italian. Right. And I had a lot of conflict in coming up with an idea that was risotto but wasn't rice. So, but first we're going to make a, I call it a soup sauce. Okay. And what the soup sauce is going to do is um, flavor and color our risotto at the end. I roasted some beets here just in a mm. container with about that much water and mm. a little bit of vinegar. Um, just until they're fork tender. Okay. And I put a little bit of thyme in with them to flavor them while they yeah. were roasting. Yeah. And the skins should just slide off. Okay, perfect. So it saves having to peel them in the beginning. Right. So put your beet in here, cover it with a couple cups of water, okay. just enough to make it go. Right. In the blender, and then put a little bit of thyme. Okay. Strip the leaves off, put the thyme straight in. So just blend it up till it's smooth. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to save this for later to color the risotto at the end. Okay. So on medium heat, put a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Like enough to coat the grains, so a right. few tablespoons. Very gently heat that. We're actually going to use the onion first. Okay. All of it? Yep. So once this starts to sizzle a little bit, mm -hmm. um, then we add the grains. So this is pearled barley that we're adding. Okay. It has the outer husk removed. So no water goes in at this stage? Right. Okay. So the risotto is co covered in the fat and the onions are flavoring it. And I just let it sit and sizzle for a minute mm -hmm. until it almost starts to toast the, okay. the barley. Mm -hmm. So add the wine now? Yep. All of it? Yeah. And how much do we have here? I got about half a cup there. Okay. Um, if you have a bottle of wine open, great, add a couple of splashes. Right. If you don't, you could add grape juice. Okay, yes. Um, so that's called deglazing, mm -hmm. and then you let the alcohol cook off. Okay. And the wine should cook down so you can see the grains again. Okay. Which is Until kind of beginning to happen now. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It should be au sec. Au sec means almost dry. Okay. So you actually want to cook it until you don't see any more liquid. Okay. I think it's ready now. Um, so. Grab your ladle with a warm liquid, mm -hmm. this is vegetable stock, right. and you put one uh, ladle at a time, Okay. and then let it get au sec, au sec. Okay. and then put another one in. Okay, we're almost au sec. Okay, and then another ladle of Add another stock? ladle, yeah. Okay, now? Yeah. So this will take around 20 minutes, and okay. it's, it's something that you can do while you just prepare your side salad, right. or get the lunches ready for tomorrow or whatever. Just something that you need to kind of keep your eye on. Right. And then I tasted a couple of grains. Mm -hmm. Just pinch it between your teeth. Right. Um, when it's still a little bit al dente. Right. But you can see it starting to get a creamy consistency. Yes. Then you can add all of the soup sauce to it. Okay. So now is the time? Yep. Oh, look at the color. Nice. Wow. So now I'm just going to make sure nothing's sticking right and wait for this to become au sec once again okay one well, okay um, and at that point we can plate it up put a little bit of parm if you wanted to add parm mm -hmm. um, and then garnish okay well let's wait for another round of au secing sure okay Andrea this looks so good shall we try it let's do it okay I can't wait there you go thank you Mm. Oh, the barley it tastes so great. Mm -hmm. And even everything's come together so nicely. It's so nice. creamy. Yeah, it's comfort food. Great winter dish. Perfect. Well, you can find out more about this recipe in today's Vancouver Sun or go online to vancouversun.com slash empoweredhealth. <laughs>